Yeah. Uh, we're in a town called Minefield, uh, which, okay. as you might expect, is feel it's full of mines. Yeah. So there's a. However, guy perhaps more dangerous than the mines, uh, is a crazy old man in that ruin over there with the sniper rifle. Yeah, he he's shoots a the exploding asshole. nuclear cars and tries to kill us. Like a dick. See, look at that. Look at this car explode. This is not a normal car explosion. Boom. Uh, it's sort of helpful, though, in that it clears out all the mines in the immediate area. Yeah. Although it's a lot of experience I lose, but better and getting. And a lot of mines, since we can keep them once we disarm them. Hell did you go? What's this guy's name again? Arkansas? Yeah. Like, you can't even talk to him. He's completely belligerent, so you don't know, aside from him being an asshole. Yeah, like, what's like, his story? Why is he such a dick? Because like, the only time you learn about him is when you get to Paradise Place. Paradise Falls. Is, he, was... a, is he a slave? He... he he kills the slavers. Oh, so he just assumes that everybody's a slaver? Yeah. What yeah, a so. dick. Nope! Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, we're unconscious, apparently. Um. Is, is this what a consciousness is like? Yeah, uh. Go to third person, real quick. No. Welp. Good thing you're uh, saved. Well, I'll be back. And jump cut. So, how about that minefield? <laughs> After the price of the Sega Saturn was revealed to be three ninety nine. Three hundred dollars ninety nine cents, not three dollars ninety nine cents. Here, three hundred ninety nine dollars, not three hundred dollars ninety nine cents. Uh, Steve Race, who was the Sony Computer America President Entertainment President at the time, uh, took the stage at E three nineteen ninety five and said uh, his whole keynote speech was two ninety nine, and then he walked off the stage. <laughs> oh god. God fucking damn it. Ah, uh, we're fine. I'm sick of this shit. That if thing I is recall, way too big of a blast radius. If I recall, one of these houses in here has rad scorpions in it. That one right there. Alright, let's go in there and get a rad scorpion poison gland. No, it's roaches, actually. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Fucking roaches. Useless enemy. Like, literally useless. At no point in the game is a red roach. Anything. I wouldn't even consider it enough of a nuisance to warrant wasting a bullet on. Most of the time, they're not even outwardly hostile. Which plays hell with a stealth character when you're trying to sneak and it says danger and it's like, oh, it's a rad roach that's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Empty. Here's some mines. There's a mine even... right up there. You're not going to kill him from here with a shotgun, Daisy. Pull out your sniper rifle. Uh, making me waste my fucking stamp packs. We got That's... Nuka Cola, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to kill him through. Shout out to Level Up. Oh, actually, this is convenient. Um,. Dump it wherever you see fit. I won't dictate your choices this time. Hmm. This needs to be 25. 
make that 40, and we have 5. Um, Lockpick. If we do a little bit of lockpick every level, then we'll eventually have enough to do everything. Ooh. Hey, and we unlocked some sweet new perks. Educated. Fish. Oh, is Thanks. that the gills one? Yeah. Thanks to the radiation of the wasteland, you have developed gills that allow you to breathe underwater. As a result of this, you also receive 25% less radiation when drinking from an irradiated water source. Nah. Educated. Yeah. Oh, power armor right off the bat. Early training. Congratulations. You train yourself how to equip power armor and power helmets because of your outstanding training skill. You will also be able to carry more items in your inventory. That's pretty cool, but power armor is not going to be our thing as a stealth character. No. What does polar existence do? People either love you or hate you. With this perk, people's reactions to you will be extreme one way or the other. Um, Considering that we're bad guys, I feel like that would be negative for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Take it. Why not? Well, early training. No, not early or training. The educated. Power that we're <laughs> educated. Three because... more skill points. All right, do educated now, and then next level, let's take polar existence. Okay, that was some weird letterboxing for a minute. Nice. One shot, one kill. It was an Oko! Shout out to other things on this channel. Ah. Should I take a shot or what? Yeah, yeah, you should totally take a shot. How much do I have left, actually? Do I have enough left to record Oko this week? I, no, have, I only have two shots here. I have some honey whiskey in my fridge. Uh, I could probably ask my roommate to pick me up some stuff. I, I definitely want to record Oko this weekend, though. Or this week. I keep on with a weekend. It's essentially my weekend, but it's not the weekend. Three days out of the week in which you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Which, honestly, I'm probably going to spend recording, playing Dragon Age Inquisition, playing Fire Emblem, and masturbating. Mm-hmm. To various material. Ooh, a lawnmower. Not a lawnmower, no. I don't even know where I would find that. Uh, I was actually considering a while ago drawing anthro lawnmowers just because I drew an anthro vacuum. Are you fucking weirdo? Yes. I mean, it's okay. kind of um, Rosie the robot hot, hot, from hot, hot, Kettle Black, huh? It's kind of like Rosie from uh, Jetsons. Oh yeah, she was kind of vacuum. She well, she was a vacuum. Do you ever look at the word vacuum and think that those are two U's that you're pronouncing radically differently right next to each other? Right next to two C's. Yeah, but the C's make the same noise. It's not like vax zoom. Oh shit! But um, U's right next to each other make two different noises that you can make. Uh, Some crazy U-ing uh, going on in vacuum. You could just say vacuum or vacuum, but it does both. It says vacuum. I'm like crouching. Uh, what was that revolver you just picked up? Was it the 44? It was called the Jayhawk. Jayhawk? Looks like a Rick Grimes ass revolver. Yes. Shout out to Rick Grimes. I think you just did that backwards. No, you didn't. Never mind. Oh, that's probably. Aim sensitivity. Yeah. What is that? I can't use it. Huh. Uh, gate key. Oh, yeah, the true name of this town is Ridgefield. Yeah. Let's see. 25. Lock, lock, lock level 25, lock pick skill 22. Uh, unlock it with bobby pins. Yeah, because if, if need be, we can 
pop locks with cherry bombs, but it damages us based on our our lockpick skill. Also, uh, when lock in Fallout or in Skyrim or anything is the like very easy or easy, that just means it's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. There's no challenge to picking a very easy or easy lock. Uh, Unlike, oh, I don't know, the Oblivion lock picking game, <laughs> where there's some degree of challenge no matter what level it is. Mm -hmm. and Man, there's a lot of stuff in Oblivion I didn't like, but I will praise to high heaven their fucking lock picking mini game. It was grape. Do we still have a cigarette hanging out our mouth? What is she? Well, okay. Uh, are we possessed? Are you looking at the first aid box? <laughs> Take the cigarette out and see if that fixes it. Uh, she doesn't have a cigarette. No, but it's still equipped in the inventory. Which is why I assume that the cigarette's the fucked up thing. Mm. Nope. And the Peach. room turned completely back for a minute. Why are we possessed? <laughs> are we going to vomit pea soup and start spinning our head around and telling Jesus to have sex with us? Collect teddy bears. That's something I always do in Fallout. Just keep teddy bears and put them all in your house at Megaton. There's a giant one that you can collect. I don't know uh, yeah, where it is, though. It's in the factory. Ah, uh, yeah, the Nuka-Cola factory. There even a reason to come in here? It really wasn't. Aside from med kits, I guess. Shout out to this house. Hey. Oh, this is it. Two oh wow, kids. that was worth it. That was completely worth all the that time. That fucking desk had more ca caps in it. <laughs> that had an assault rifle. That's oh, like was... buying a four hundred dollar gun safe and putting like a slingshot in it. Meanwhile, your chest of drawers right next to it has, like, an AK-47 in it. <laughs> uh, I say AK-47 because it's, like, the only assault rifle I know. Uh, if my brother was here, he could go on for 40 fucking minutes about all the different kinds of assault rifles. He's got a gun fetish. I, I used to be good uh, with gun names. Not as much anymore. You ever see that Cyanide and Happiness cartoon about the guy who's he's like a redneck with a ton of guns and he wakes up getting robbed and he's super excited because it means he can finally use all his guns? <laughs> and so there's like a montage of him getting all his guns like equipped and ready and all that stuff. And by the time he starts heading downstairs, he's like shedding grenades and like bullets off of him because he's carrying so much. Mm hmm and he turns the light on and the crooks are already gone because he took so long. Yeah. He's like, oh, they took the rest of my guns. Cyanide and happiness. Pretty fucking funny. Uh -huh. Especially when they do those comics that are just really fucking depressing. They released, uh, of their Signed Eyed and Happiness show, they just released recently the depressing episode. Uh. Which is just like 11 minutes of cartoons like that. They were pretty bad. 
there was one where uh, there's an elderly woman in an old folks home trying to eat peas and she just can't because her hands are too shaky. Uh -huh. And that's the whole cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty bad. Oh, there's one one of their comics. It's um, a girl's listening to her messages, and she's listening. It seems like she's just listening normally. Uh, all of a sudden, it shows her crying, and then it shows a newspaper, and it shows her boyfriend's death in the newspaper. Oh. God, these guys are, like, amazing. <laughs> At, like creating horribly depressing shit. <laughs> the last one in that uh, in the, that episode mm -hmm. is a man who was diagnosed with cancer, and it's like him still trying to like enjoy his life with his like his wife uh -huh. while still going through like all the hardships of cancer. <laughs> and uh, he gets his wife pregnant, and uh, it's like a like a malformed fucked up baby oh and it dies right before he dies oh that's fucked <laughs> um i'm gonna have to uh cut out real quick uh we froze again yeah what is this four mm -hmm. this time i added kalua into it so it's got a little aftertaste to it All right, off to Megaton. Megaton. Welcome back to Fallout 3. God, this place looks fucking so uninviting in this light. Especially with those birds circling. Those, for whatever reason, like, stark white fucking vultures. Rig the bomb to explode. Nah. Nailed it. It blows up. I'll be damned. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? It ain't much to look at. We talk with Moira. All right, we need to buy the sexy thing for the. Yeah, I was house. about to say we're gonna buy a sex house. <laughs> Got something to do. How are those oh, and I loaded the page and. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's a bunch of America flags, and then a thing in the back that says America. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine. Just what I've always wanted. Put it under your pillow. Maybe the bomb fairy will give you something good. Now, tell me all about it. Watch the details and look for broken patterns. That's yeah, do that there. God, we are so fucking smart. She's gonna sleep with us. Yeah. That's what the internet tells me. <laughs> or certain people. Whoa, whoa, internet. whoa! She's giving us her rainy day toys. Oh my goodness. Now we gotta drink a bunch of. Fucking yeah, just go out to the bomb. We don't have to leave Megaton for this one. Time for delicious bomb water. This water is the bomb. Because <laughs> it's a bomb. Bomb can also... Yes, swing that ass. Somebody's taking pictures in there. Get the fuck over here. What the f Why did they do that to her hair? <laughs> I'll put the Ragio face over her. Yeah, see? Ragio. Ugh. If you listen closely, I can hear my jeans crying. Uh, no, that joke went over your head, Moira. Side of 
effect. A teeny tiny um, I, I hate you for leaving your cursor in the middle of the fucking screen like that. What are you, 12? <laughs> Curse chapter done. Nailed it. Stem backs. Let's immediately start up the next chapter. Damn it. <laughs> Creatures. Mole rats. Murlurks. Let's toss ourselves off a building. Yeah, this one's also super easy to do. Just jump off the balcony in front. All right, get down from there. Uh... Oh, you're not even going to do that. You're just going to waste your stuff. Well, I don't really care for the mines. What happens if you harm an innocent civilian? They're not innocent. Can you detonate your own mines? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can shoot them. Just jump off the bridge. Just jump off. See? See how much easier that was? They don't break a bone. Your leg's broken. No, they have to be crippled. Go back into first person. This is weirding me out. See, now, to get crippled, all right, just craft a dart gun and then shoot it straight up so it lands on us. God damn it. Throw a grenade. Uh, if you're so desperate to use explosives. Ah, we'll uh, yeah, but see, now we're not hurt badly enough. That should be good. It's just below 50%. Is it? Uh, Cripp stats. You want to go to stats? Crippling energy... Uh, there. It's saying no, it's not check off. Nailed it. There we go. Couldn't have just jumped off. Why am I even here, Daisy? <laughs> well, how do you feel? This really hurts. Pain's an abstract. I stay focused on the definable things, like survival. No, don't choose that because we're not a fucking douchebag. <laughs> That's My, the exact uh, kind of line that would be immediately followed up by like, "Oh, so you're not like religious, right? That can't be associated with anybody who believes in a <laughs> phony god." <laughs> My only solace is thinking about inflicting this pain on people like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. So click it. Is that a fucking you snark, bitch? Bitch, you fucking paid me to do this. Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks. And it should help prevent the effect. All right, research the second chapter. Let's do the mole rats because there's some like right outside. Play whack a mole. Uh. And then myelurks are gonna be a bit more of a pain in the ass. Cause you can't kill them. There we go. We might want to wait to do the myelurk thing until we have uh, some sort of stealth field either from a stealth boy or from the 
Chinese stealth suit. Okay. Yeah. I guess we can sit in uh, here. Okay. Um. I. Oh, all right. Well, is, I guess this is just happening now. Yeah. Um. I don't know if this is. Oh. Uh, all right. I guess we're done. Uh, excuse me. We were doing something very private. How about you fuck off, kid? I don't like you. No, Tell him to calm his tits. I gotta keep going. You won't leave me like all these oh, guys. nailed it. Uh, let's tell him we're gonna... <laughs> Both of these are kind of an <laughs> asshole things to say. Oh, yeah. I, I've i never been in a point in an RPG where there's no good option. <laughs> I guess the bottom one because I guess you're like dicking around with him. Why are you so mean? Uh, okay, never mind. He took that completely like straight. Wow, he's got nerves of steel. <laughs> See if you talk to him again. Uh, excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Excuse me, we are we are patrons. Hello. Grandma Sparkle. I think this is what the polarizing perk does. Oh, well, thank God we saved immediately after getting it. Uh huh. You know what I think that means, Daisy? Don't kill her. You should be evil as hell. Either that, or we should go bump up our karma some so that we can actually talk to people. Uh-huh. Uh, so... What, what, what's our... We're a fat cat, apparently. What's the best way to get... Uh... Oh, yeah, we have to give water to people. Ah. Uh. Or donate caps to the church in Megaton. And as long as we do that, we can do anything that we want in the game. Oh god, is this going to screw us over when we get into Megaton? Oh, no. You're the one who wanted this, Feral. I, did, I didn't think it would, this would be the effect. Okay, wow, apparently this is Mine City. There's more mines here than there were in Minefield, what the hell? I don't remember this bridge. Probably because I always swam under it. Apparently there's nobody here anymore. Oh, Fucking it's Brian. kid, get the hell away from me! There's mines over here, kid. What are you doing? Oh, shit. Can we still do that quest even if we piss them off? Uh, we should be able to. Jesus Christ! Did you just drop all of them? Yes. No, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Ha. Oh, fucking nailed it. Nothing like wordplay. <laughs> Let's look for his daddy. You will? My house is the one closest to the huge sign in the old diamond. But first, oh. let's get rid of all these mines. Oh. I wish I say, wait. Wait, I think we can leave. Probably isn't the best place for you to stand, considering there's a million fucking mines like five feet away. Uh, I really want to risk. This is why you really need speech in Fallout 3. It actually gets you places. Plus, this is free experience, and I don't even know if this will work. Uh, yeah, go give it a shot. Nope. Nailed it. All right, and now we just leave and never do that quest, and he will starve to death. Yeah. 
Man, you got some quick clicking on those mines. Uh, I don't even really need them. Exit. Oh yeah, there's always a uh, random encounter up there at the memorial. Yeah. So, uh... Also, we're getting into, uh, Talon Company territory, so keep an eye out for those dicks. Oh. They got some energy weapons and all that. And make our lives pain in the ass. Yeah, so let's see what they got up here. Oh, God. Oh, it's, uh... Why didn't you talk to him? Uh, probably because he ran away. Oh, is he running from us because of the polarity thing? Oh, if I snuck past there, he would have gotten blown to shit. Who is he? <laughs> That's him real quick. I want to know what he, what's going on. He is gone. Jesus. That guy's got a pair of legs on him. Didn't realize that fucking Lance Armstrong survived the apocalypse. <laughs> Lance Armstrong, known for running. <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I suppose a, he would have thick legs for some reason. I think I ruined our game. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he killed his buddy. He's a criminal. All he has is a sledge. Um, uh, we just missed the betrayal of epic proportions. Fuck. Oh, my God. That lit up our screen like a chemical explosion. Uh. God, we just missed that fucking... Sweet ass betrayal. Yeah, that and, like that would have been like the season end cliffhanger on an episode of like Walking Dead. I think we should call it your grave. Uh, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know. I'm out of ideas on fucking getting karma up. Is... Oh, fucking nailed it. I suppose we can get karma for getting uh, Mr. Burke dead. We can do that, yes. Let's go kill Mr. Burke. That should bring us up to at least uh, neutral. Because we're, we're evil, but we're not at very evil yet. Kill Mr. Burke and then donate some caps to the church. Assuming that people don't just attack us when we get to Megaton. Shit. Uh, damn it. Oh, come on. There's fucking gas in there. Stop jacking my kills. It jacked all your kills, though. You know what you do when you run into gas? Mm, you just you throw a grenade. <sighs> Shout out to hitboxes. Yeah, I was about to say fucking hitbox. Uh, this is where rock salt is. He's got a combat shotgun. I do not remember rock salt. Is he a red deer? Yeah. Oh, that's good. We can get a combat shotgun. And there's a bunch of mines, too. Funnily enough, audience, there's a gun in this game called the Terrible Shotgun. It's actually the best shotgun in the game. Yeah. It's not terrible at all. Uh, we should... We should... Engage in the audience, I suppose. Sure. Uh, audience, question of the day. Who's your favorite Power Ranger? Mine is Tommy. Daisy? 
Um, I yeah, I'm more. I was more into Mighty Morphin, so yeah, Tommy. Shout out to yep. Tommy, most consistent Power Ranger of all time. Also an MMA fighter. Shotgun. Sweet, a much better shotgun than the one that we're currently using. Elephant gun. Audience. Question of the day. Like, comment, subscribe below. That, that's not a question. Who? I was, I'm was. i getting to the question. Jeez, Mr. Impatient Mary over here. Uh. I don't know. Who's your favorite Game of Thrones house? Character. Who's your favorite Game of Thrones character? If you don't know Game of Thrones, just say somebody like okay. actually somebody type out the comment and have it say somebody the word somebody and post that audience of seven people because Daisy's not gonna fucking <laughs> Learn and stem back God. Oh, stick packs for days. Just hit A, Daisy. I, I did. <laughs> did you? Yes. Prove it to me. Open that uh, thing again. Because I don't believe you. Okay, it's empty. I see it. How did they figure out proximity mines in the 1950s? <laughs> They're getting ready for Nam. Although I suppose it wasn't the 50s, it was 2077. Whack-a-mole. How many fucking mole rats do we have to try this shit out on? Like seven or nine. We gotta be getting close. Oh, there we go. Called it. I'm like a scion. That was a gun. Uh, was it you who killed him or was it the mole rat? <laughs> Twas beauty killed the beast. Remember the King Kong remake in like 2009? Yeah, with Jack, Jack Black. Yeah, I was about to say Jack Black was in that, and it was the weirdest thing. Yeah. Hello, we are uh, back from the Oh, this is actually, honestly, Daisy, this looks so much better. Uh, yeah, uh, I got rid of Apocalyptic Wasteland, so now it's just gray and muddy instead of red and bread. I can actually see. And the ground, it looks... I like the sand in the Apocalyptic whatever, but this just, it's its so much easier on the eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to see if this, um, you know, let's just last longer. Yeah, we've been having issues with fast traveling. I think our restart counter is up to like five or six now. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that fixes it. Einstein was stopped so much in public he would reply, Pardon me, sorry, I'm always mistaken for Professor Einstein. <laughs> Every time Paul Rudd goes on Conan O'Brien's show to promote a movie, he instead shows a poorly staged clip from the movie Mac and Me. <laughs> uh, waiting. Are you sure you don't want to blow up and jam the door again? <laughs> I probably should. Oh my god. The 1973 Gremlin was available with Levi's denim seats. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. 
I tested it out, and it works just fine. <laughs> uh, I tested... Let's not lie to Moira. <laughs> we gotta get that karma up, remember? It appears the Morats have a most fatal allergy to it. Explosively so. It's like <laughs> explosive whack-a-mole rat. Can I have a bullet? Yeah, you choose that one. As much as I like intelligence options, uh... Horrible. This thing is horrible. It's also a case of, you know, like a <laughs> douchebag. Although you do get uh, the Wild Wasteland thing. Wild Wasteland is not in Fallout 3. Or Wasteland uh, book. If you do all the intelligence and perception stuff, it gets you a better thing. Stealth boy. Oh shit, no, I think we sold our stealth boy. Yeah, we did. Oh crap. This is gonna be a bit tricky. We might have to come back later and do this. We could always bum rush it. We could. But I think you get points. Pull up the journal. We I think just... we get uh I have points. Did I really just say points? Do not kill any of them, that's all we have to... Oh, okay. Yeah, just bomb rush it. Sprint your ass and plant the thing. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's going to be a big shaft. Yeah. You can just jump down to the bottom. And land in the water. And then place the sensor fucking whatever. And then book it back up to the top. Hopefully not be... Oh, crap. Cool. They already fucking saw yeah, me. Yeah, just go, go, go. Opening all the doors there. Ahead of time. Nailed it. Nope, you can't nope. go up there. You gotta go up the. There you go. Come on. Hopefully, this door has stairs behind it. Shit. Oh wow, apparently, this is a lot easier than I remember it being. Oh god, it went through the doors. Ah. Nope. Oh, he's hanging out on the stairs. He knows what we're trying to do. Hurry up! Oh my god, it's the slowest door. Yeah, good. Down is the direction we wanted to go, right? Uh, yeah. I can hear it right behind me. Oh, there's a tiny one there. Hey, stairs back up. Who built this place? Why are there four different sets of stairs? That's the same staircase. Alright, we just kind of ran right past them then. That was loud. Maybe for you. Uh... Why are there so many... Are you uh... fucking shitting me? It drops me... Go back up the stairs quick! You went right back in the door that you came out of. I did. Yeah. Uh, God, I fucking hate this place. This is the worst place ever. The fact that she doesn't want anything killed is what makes the... Who doesn't put fucking... Yeah, don't go down that hole. Just go to the side here. There you go. <laughs> I'm sure they got sued for that before the fucking apocalypse, Daisy. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better. I'm sure that was a lawsuit that happened. <sighs> well, that's done. Oh, I'm Randy so Bobman is playing New Vegas. <laughs> the fuck is Randy Bobman? <laughs> Shout out to Randy Bobman. Shout out to Fallout New Vegas. Depending on who you ask, superior to this game. Which has better mod community. 
because I can play as Crystal from Star Fox, and she can be wearing the uh, suit that Samus wears. Yeah, that's great. Okay. God damn it. They've descended from local crabs. I'd call them Skillosir Retha Horrendous. The fucking uh Intelligence, I guess. Smart ass. They have I a guess, little I bubbling. Guess she's it. <laughs> I'm surprised their Three character. Three stealth boys! I'm surprised their character doesn't have a fucking fedora yet. She did give us a fedora, actually, just now. Uh, chapter 2 is complete. Chapter. Chapter the last. Lucky number 12. We are going to go to. Rivet City first. Alright. Rivet City Rampage. Do you want to swim there? Yeah, we could do that. That'd probably be safer. Elephant gun, for those of you in the audience not in the know. Ooh, she's pretty. Why couldn't we have made our character look like her? Well, <laughs> let's take a look at her face. After these guys die. Does she still have a head? Uh, anyway, for those of you not in the know in the audience. Uh, okay, never mind. She looks like a clown whore. Uh... Elephant guns are used to kill rhinoceroses. See, look, the eyebot helped us out. He's our bud. He almost died to save us. I could start taking those. Fix them up a bit. Um, Rad Roach. Meyer Lurks. Um, anything? Anything? No. Not an actual chimera, because chimeras are something totally different, but a biological chimera. And in no way a centaur. Dude, you gotta cripple them tongues. Wow, that did a whole point of damage. I, I'm beginning to think the elephant gun might not be the best option. Never mind. As much as I love Skyrim, too, too many Draugr. Mm hmm. Not enough enemy variety. Oh, the uh, Dwammer, uh, Death Lords? Something like that? They the, always the, spam. Those are first... Draugr. Draugr Death Lords. How are you hitting me from over here? But no, Dwemer, the... Dwemer are all like the steam, steampunky machine things. Are you. Don't you look at all the armor he has on his torso. Yeah, but he's shooting me. Also, I would say just leave. Did you see that massive hail of gunfire that they're shooting at you? Oh my god, just fuck off for me. Fuck off! We should come back later, though, because they've got somebody held captive there. Yeah. No, that's for good karma, so... Yes, it is. Oh, and there's going to be a guy up here uh, that asking we for give water. water to, yes. Welcome to fucking 20 minutes ago when I said that exact thing. Well, there's one outside of Megaton. Uh, toilet. I don't remember Disturbed sounding such, like such an angry band. They never sounded angry to me. Please, please help. I'm gonna listen to some Imagine Dragons. Here, have this purified water. A little bit more upbeat. Are, are you just gonna... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, he's... What's he... Oh, yeah, we probably fucking dragged super mutants over here. Check our karma real quick, see if it, we're still evil. Neutral. Neutral, sweet.
Hold it right there. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Look what? at this emo ass haircut. Oh my god. He's depressed that his parents don't listen to him, and also he's an android. Are you serious? I really don't like that. Harkness was like my favorite Fallout 3 character. <laughs> and now he looks like a. Emo now he bitch. looks like he's from like a Swedish metal band. <laughs> He looks like Toki. <laughs> Toki War 2. Uh, so, <laughs> I guess this is a good stopping point for part 2. I might have some good edits, or enough to shorten it. So, goodbye. See you in the next episode. Yep.